I didn't want to create a skincare brand unless it sparked social change. Really Hiram, is it really going to make good social impact or is it just another marketing gimmick? Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about Selfless by Hiram, my opinion on his new skincare line. First of all, let me tell you I'm a huge fan of Hiram. Literally, my channel name is Skincare with Shudipta and I've been following Hiram since 2019. Hiram taught me a lot about skincare. I love his skincare philosophy. Ingredients don't lie. So if you don't know who is Hiram, Hiram is a 25-year-old massive skin influencer. He launched his new skincare line on June 24th, today the day I'm shooting this video right now. He launched his new skincare line in partnership with the Inky List. Inky List is another UK based skincare brand. It is also huge and massive. Selfless launched exclusively at 663 Sephora stores in 20 different countries. Well, India is not one of them. When I heard about the skincare line, I got super excited because Hiram is all about effective ingredients with less price. But when I saw the release videos, I learned it's just not another skincare line, it is related to social change. Really Hiram, is it really going to make good social impact or is it just another marketing gimmick? Because if you want to help the climate, you don't really skincare line to be honest. And then the brand claims with every purchase of yours, you are providing clean drinking water or helping the forest. Basically the brand will do donation, but they are not transparent about how much is being donated. Also the donation he is so hyping about will give him tax benefits. He is basically taking your money, you as a consumer, then later he will going to donate that money from the company's account and that way he will get a huge amount of tax deduction. So I as a consumer, I would rather donate my money myself because that way I know where my money is going and also I have full access and full control over it. For me, I would rather buy a good cheap product and donate the extra money, that way it will give me more satisfaction. Also, I want to talk about the environmental friendly packaging. Sugarcane bioplastic. Bioplastics, they are a little bit better than the normal plastics, but in the end, they are plastic as well. For me, he just created a good skincare line that is expensive with some obvious marketing gimmicks. Also, guys, he's not going to donate from his share of the money. He's going to charge you extra for the noble work. How come this brand is selfless? We specifically priced this product and the rest of our products in our collection at a price point that is affordable while fairly compensating the sustainably and mindfully sourced ingredients. Let's forget all of the marketing. Let's talk about the products because as Hiram say, ingredients don't lie. Okay, so I'll start with the cleanser. Centrala and Green Tea Hydrating Gel Cleanser. The price is $20, approx 1,500 Indian rupees for 150 ml of the product. Highly concentrated forms of both of these ingredients are formulated to be present at 5% for green tea and 3% for Centella Asiatica. But in reality, both of the ingredients are below phenoxyethanol. I hope I pronounced it right. When you see the ingredient phenoxyethanol on an ingredient list, anything below that is likely going to be under 1%. So if you find a product that is advertising that it has an incredible natural extract like aloe vera, but you find that it is listed below phenoxyethanol, that product is probably bullshit and is not going to be as effective as it could be. Which means both of them are less than 1%. Second product I want to talk about is Retinol and Rainbow Algae Serum. This serum is basically for post acne marks and hyperpigmentation. And when I've looked what's available on the market, I rarely if ever find products that are specifically targeted for people struggling with post acne marks and hyperpigmentation. Not true Hiram, most of the skincare brands has product targeting this specific issue. It has 0.2% retinol and it has citric acid in it. Not to forget all of the product he launched, most of them has citric acid in it. Hiram may be starting to love citric acid because the Hiram I knew. The reason why I recommend avoiding these is because citrus essential oils and extracts are known for their potentially sensitizing and irritating properties. Well, you saw the clip. And also it has benzyl alcohol in it. It is kind of like a fragrant because it has floral and fruity scent to it. High concentration can cause sensitivity to the skin, but I don't know how much like they formulated with. For me, it is so sad to see Hiram is forgetting his own principles that made him stand out from all other skin influencers. I love his skincare philosophy. I followed him for that philosophy only. In the end, guys, it's your money spent however you feel like. If you love this video, give me a like and also subscribe to my channel to show support. I hope to see you in my next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.